Hey guys, Casual Game Ready for welcome back to the game room. As you all already know, I collect uh, retro video games, video games in general, and nostalgic stuff. When you're collecting retro stuff and nostalgic stuff, whether it be toys or video games or whatever, there's a certain amount of care that has to go in that, a certain amount of preventative maintenance to maintain those games, and a certain amount of care to clean those relics up. Um... Uh, so, I'm going to talk about it in today's video, guys. Stick around. Alright, guys. So, what I'm talking about is back in the day, we had uh, cartridge-based games. Uh, when they wouldn't work, we'd give them the whole... And we'd shove them in there and it would work. Uh, we've now learned years later that that's a bad idea because we spit and slobber and whatnot on those pins. And they corrode. And the game uh, potentially does not work. We're introducing that into our system. Potentially corroding our system. Whole ordeal. Uh, and as we've moved past that into disc-based stuff, uh, retailers and uh, second-hand market uh, retailers have plastered stickers and price tags and everything on video games uh, and we need to clean those off so what we should have been doing back in the day is we should have been buying a a cleaning kit uh, that has a cartridge in it to clean the console and it has a little deal to clean the cartridges we wasn't doing that but there's several ways to do that uh, nowadays and how do I do that so basic cleaning of my games I use one-up cards. Uh, fairly simple. They're easy to find. Amazon, uh, oneupcard.com. Uh, there's probably several of the retailers out there. Uh, they also make uh, cleaning cartridges for your consoles. Uh, but your your standard kit, I think you get three one-up cards. Uh, I actually think I have a standard kit here. Uh, you get three one-up cards. So three of these, and then a little bottle of one-up card fluid, as it says. It turns out it's 99% isopropyl alcohol. Uh, <clears throat> I don't buy the, uh, the the kit anymore if I need one-up cards. This one's relatively new. I've got uh, some new ones uh, over there in the desk. Uh, I just buy the, like the three-pack of the cards. I think it's like $10 or something. And I use them. As you can see, compared to a newer one and an older one, uh, I have used them quite a bit. Uh, every time I get a game in, I, I clean it with a one-up card. And I rarely have to take them apart to clean them, but sometimes I do if there's a lot of dirt and grime and stuff uh, down in that slot where the pin's on. Uh, so if I have to take them apart, uh, how do I do that? Well, you have to have a game bit. Uh, for your cartridges, it's going to be a 3.8 game bit. Um, I'm not sure if any cartridges take the 4.5 game bit but I know consoles do uh, and you can get game bits in a variety of ways uh, you can get them standalone like I have these here 3.8 4.5 um, and whenever I go out hunting if uh, I'm going to like a flea market or a swap meet or something like that I always take one of these with me throw it in my pocket uh, that way if it's an expensive or high-end game and I'm dropping some bones on it I can open it up and ensure that it's authentic um, we can also uh, get little kits. Uh, I fix it makes a, a good kit, uh, but I got this kit here: Precision Screwdriver Set 35 and one uh, from Tractor Supply of all places for 9.99, uh, and it comes with a variety of Torx bits and Phillips bits. Um, as you can see, uh, it comes with the driver, a pair of tweezers, and extension for the driver. Uh, it's really handy to have, and as it would be, this has game bits in it as well has both 3.8 and the 4.5 so this definitely comes in handy uh, when maintaining video games. It also has Y wings in there or tri wings in there uh, to get you in uh, some uh, Nintendo controllers like GameCube controller, I think Y wing uh, some of the Game Boy Advance games are Y wing so that helps you there uh, 
if you don't have one up card fluid, uh, I don't. Again, I don't buy one up card fluid. I just use 91% isopropyl alcohol. I use a high uh, percentage of alcohol to water uh, because it just dries quicker uh, and less chance of corrosion. On uh, my uh, cartridges, sometimes like the the label will peel up on the edge. Uh, to stick them back down, I just use Elmer's glue stick. Uh, it seems to work fine for me. I don't want to use any type of uh, adhesives or anything like that uh, that may bleed through the label, uh, and then it just look worse than it did loose. I don't know if that makes sense or not. Uh, once I get through uh, clean them up, I will clean out the outside, clean off the outside with some uh, like window cleaner. I get all the dirt and grime off of it, and uh, then I will take some Armor All uh, on like a microfiber cloth, uh, wipe down the outside of the cart. Uh, it'll give it a little bit of sheen back, uh, and just makes it feel good to the touch. Uh, it gives it a good visual appearance. So you can see on this cartridge, I've got some sticker residue on the side of it. I've got a price tag sticker right on the front of it. Uh, and I've got some marker on the back of it, and it looks like some sticker residue on the back uh, label. I'm going to try to remove all of that, clean this up, uh, and then on this one, this was a GameStop uh, pre-owned game. You've got a sticker on the case here, you've got a sticker on the case here, and it appears that you've got a sticker on the case of the spine there. But actually what they've done back in this era of video games which drives me crazy is they put the sticker on the spine they actually stuck it on there uh, now I've run across some to where they don't stick it on there they leave the paper back on the sticker and just slide it in there uh, thank you to the GameStop employees that done that and cursed the GameStop employees that actually stuck it on the art not that big of a deal on Lemony Snicket's series of fortunate events but I've seen some pretty uh, Pretty bangers, uh, pretty good games that have the sticker on the spine as well, and it drives me crazy. I've seen some of them out in the wild where people have just <laughs> cut that out, which is ridiculous to do. Uh, but to take stickers off, I just use uh, uh, lighter fluid, uh, like lighter fluid for wick lighters. I use uh, Ronzenol. Um, I guess you could use Zippo or any other type of wick lighter fluid. This is what I use. Uh, it does a good job of uh, uh, making the adhesive on the stickers tacky to where you can peel them off. Uh, and then you can wipe it away and it dries and it doesn't leave any residue behind. Uh, and it doesn't tend to uh, mess up uh, like cardboard or the paper or the label. It don't take the colors and anything like that off there unless you just use a lot of it. Um, it's not as... Uh, harsh on on labels and things like that as say goo gone or things like that uh, so that's what i use so i showed you these two games that i got i'm going to cut here i'm going to try to clean these up once i get them cleaned up i'll come back i'll throw up some pictures of before and after so you can see them side by side but you will see these when they're cleaned up so guys stick around for that all right guys so i got my games all cleaned up i did however forget to take uh, before and after pictures um, but I will grab a shot from the before uh, and then grab a shot from now and you can see them side by side so this is the cartridge based game an old sticker on the, the label the label looks pretty good pretty pretty war right on that edge uh, but there's no rips or anything like that uh, all the sticker residue off the sides of it uh, the back, uh, the uh, sticker residue to come off. I thought that was sticker residue, but it's actually the back label was ripped. Uh, and then I got most of that uh, marker off the bottom of it. Uh, cleaned it uh, with uh, uh, some isopropyl alcohol. Used the lighter fluid on the stickers and then cleaned it up with some uh, Windex and some Armor All. And... Uh, it's in really good shape now. The GameCube.
game. No sticker on the front. Got all the sticker residue off of there. In fact, the sticker came off in one piece. And it, I don't know if you'll be able to hear that or not, but where that solvent's dried, it's still tacky. Um, so, we got all that off of there. You got the one off of the back. And one off of the spine. No damage to the spine. So guys, that is two games that, uh, this one had three stickers on it, and this one had a bunch of sticker residue, and a sticker on the label, which actually came off in one piece as well. Uh, marker on it. Took about 20 minutes all together to clean them up. Um, and then now I can put these in the collection. Uh, almost as good as new, nice and clean, and they will work good for me for a long time. So guys, hopefully this video helped you out. If you like the content, hit that like button. If you already done so, hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate that. Ring that bell for notifications so you'll be notified when I post a video for you. Until next time.